So, naturally you're going to be asking, Kip, what is happening? Uh, we are reacting to Max Thor's incorrect summary vulture kill act 2 because 1, I'm still drunk. 2, uh, I don't remember fucking jack shit from it. 3, uh, this doesn't have audio sync issues. So, <laughs> I'm effectively reacting for this for the first time. <laughs> This video is up. Oh my really god! Rumble, I swear. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's gonna be real beautiful. Bingo. Lust. All gone. With gluttony soon to follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger. Purged all life on the upper layers, and yet they remain unsatiated. As to you. God, I keep trying to remember his name. It's not Virgil, right? Or is he like the proverbial Virgil? Because this is Divine Comedy, right? This is part two of the Divine Comedy. Oh, God, it's going to be amazing. You've taken everything from me, machine. And now all that remains is perfect hatred. Maxter's editing is just top notch. I need to see him enter a fucking A and B competition. I need it. Hey there, everyone. It's me, your it's favorite Maxter. true crime content creator. Back at you again with a new crazy prank. I'm gonna keep this one brief since this video is up. Ultra Kill. If you haven't played it, that's great. Watch my videos. I think it's the best game ever made. You know, most best. games nowadays kind of look like. It's so beautiful. I have to roll the gotcha. Ultra Kill doesn't do that. Instead, we get fucking. Ins and he did roll the gotcha. But I don't think he still has gone you. <laughs> Paint developers. <laughs> Welcome to the game where blood is fuel, hell is full, and a Fumo destroys the earth. It's uh, definitely an experience. Fumo. Do you ever look up on the pyramids and think that was- Wait, was that Hell Knight Ingrid? What? And a Fumo destroys the earth. It's uh, definitely an experience. No, never mind. Ignore I said that. Do you ever look up on the pyramids and think that would be a crazy slide? Do you feel bad about missing out on the Titanic? Or are you a simple man who wants to fish peacefully? If so, then yes. uh, I guess this game counts. And uh, I'm going to spread misinformation about it. You know, I think there's a reason this takes place in hell, but I can't exactly put my finger on it. My goofy ass actually bought this like, yeah, I'm ready for some normal games. I hope that my, like, my soulless eyes and my head tilted to the side, like, are coming through. Because I'm just enthralled by this so far. Like, it's so good. It's all coming at me so quick that it's, like, it's, like, slapping my brain repeatedly. And my brain is just, like, mm, yes. <laughs> Surprise. Bitch. <laughs> Welcome back to Act 1. I'm starting this review with time travel. Basically, I was browsing the internet a few seconds ago when I oh. happened upon arcane information. You know, after I changed the wiki page. As it turns out, King Minos is not a rich man. I think it's a bad idea to spend your entire city budget on bisexual lighting. This presents a problem for us. Bisexual lighting is based, though. Holy shit. Just because, uh... Well, I can't really ask him to pay. So if I can't charge his body, then God damn it, I'm going to charge his soul. Nobody escapes the wrath of the IRS. That is where this level comes in. Or rather, all of them. Lucy Pyre could, allegedly. <laughs> this door represents every level. And if you don't complete them perfectly, then it doesn't open. Trust me, I tried to no clip and was cast into the void. That means no mistakes, no time, oh. no checkpoints. We're using the video game alphabet. And because every copy of this game is personalized, we've got a lot of levels to beat. I'm sure this is exactly what Akita wanted. Oh, man. It was me, Barry. I'm the one who posted the Moai emoji. This no, never! This strat called up. So, better watch out. <laughs> I thought it would be obvious. Please, anything but this. It's What's making my synapses look like a rave. <laughs> I'm going to abbreviate Cyberpunk. Biggest mistake of my life. Rake the leaves up, Samurai. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? No shit, it's this guy again. I'm going to send you back to God. Hey, can you make change for this? <laughs> How can this Shut up. 
This was not worth it, I say to my Bitcoin assassin. So the next level starts, and it's in Japan. There's this secret boss. It would be in Japan, wouldn't it? Named Hatsune Miku. Then we open her up like a can of sardine. <laughs> no, actually, it's a spinal staircase. They call oh, no! it spine vine. <laughs> Off with that. What on God's green earth is that? <laughs> His music's time signature is fucked. Welcome it's to fucked. HP Minecraft. You just see, because you know how like the uh, the lowercase italicized F is forte, and the F fort, uh, fortissimo and forti, uh, what was it four fortis tissimo, whatever. Anyways, three. It's just a capital F and fucking Times New Roman. The fucker's using creative mode. This boss is here to teach your limbs how to file restraining orders. And to do that, he's got a lot of shit to dodge. I like to call it Toho's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> now, his attacks might not seem that bad until you have to dodge all of them at once. I don't know what those things are doing, but uh... Oh, it's worse. So, on top of summoning 9 billion eyeballs, the fucker uses them to heal. Oh my god, he's fucking doing it. No. I uh, hope you're a good shot, because I'm certainly not. To beat this boss, we need to target the healthcare system. Just like Ronald Reagan, preferably using heavy ordinance. This guy's looking like a Looking like a square. I really wasn't expecting to fight the Kaaba today. Oh my fucking god, I'm speed running a migraine. It's the fucking black box. I almost forgot that I was in hell. Flesh is not supposed to be hard, unless I'm reading. <laughs> okay, I need to know where this is from, though. I need to. <laughs> I need to know one if this is official. Two, I need to know where I can read this. <laughs> Okay, I want to laugh, but this is actually kind of serious because shame culture is a fucking thing. Like, now I'm just depressed. God, I'm speedrunning a migraine. I almost forgot that I was in hell. Flesh is not supposed to be hard, unless I'm reading a certain something. I'm really into this game for the good story. So his attacks are plentiful, but thankfully we can overcome this boss by using a cool new secret called trial and error. Tell your friends about it. And although this basic geometry could be a little hard, our journey has definitely prepped us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be introducing his skull to the concept of a circle. <laughs> he Minecraft <laughs> Excuse oh. me, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? <laughs> ah, free at last. Hey, I'm Wait. the uh, outstanding balance. I spent all of it on perks. Wait, is that fucking Badger? Oh my god, it is Badger. I'm telling you, I I remember jack shit about this. Crap, you already reacted to it. Yes, that doesn't mean I retained the information. <laughs> Hi, Badger. How you doing? What? My blood is a controlled substance in 39 states. Excuse me? I have personally killed 12 trillion people. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun. Oh, on the fucking contrary. <laughs> this goes hard. I maxed out nine credit cards for my fucking perks. <laughs> Hey guys, Maxor here. Back from the <laughs> secret government beef lines. I was trying to drink the airport jungle juice. No! And today, we're going to be fighting the only boss entirely accessible in Gary's mod. This was a deliberate choice by the publishers to include DLC. Isn't nature just domestic? Minus Prime is not an easy boss. You're going to be quite familiar with all of his attacks because he will not stop screaming them. Moves such as Judgment, Die, My End is Now, I Will Have Order. These attacks will bookend your obituary and they will do it really fucking fast. And yes, that is why the video looks bad. This game is no longer a first-person shooter. It's Meladia, Blade of Michelin. Oh no! Harry, don't you no! Uh, maybe. <laughs> Time to learn. This is the first boss ever designed to be fought in your peripheral vision. I played this at Grandpa's funeral, and he started beating the shit out of the toaster. P-ranking the game was not a test. It was a warning. So if I were to give advice, it would be to listen. This little shit is hard, and you're going to die a little bit. However, there isn't a single move that you can't counter. Not to mention, he announces them quite loudly. Amazing. Jesus Christ. So if he seems difficult, that is a skill issue. You, you One mean Jesus Christ. <laughs> Makes your camera look like it's in the washing machine. Ultimately, <laughs> Minos is a noble soul, and he's going to give you a noble death. What you do in between is up to you. But if there was a crime I was willing to forgive, it would definitely be public embezzlement. In fact, it isn't a crime at all. It's an obligation. So, how's about <laughs> I uh, help him with his investments? Crime is an obligation too. Oh. Forgive me, my people. For I have failed you. Creature of steel. You have shown me the error of my ways. What, really? <laughs> of course not. You can prime my prescription for my cold dead hands, Wait. bitch. I'll take my- Wait, is this a difficulty tweak? Oh no! <laughs> what? 
Well, that was normal. Almost as normal as his, uh, um, entertainment. And all it took was a, a few tries. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Pyramid here. Egypt. We're here to find <laughs> fucking Dio. This level represents a great increase in heat, since apparently the sun exists. This is news to me. We're here with the Stardust this Crusaders to, to uncover the secret past of the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. And one of I want to go there. Kind of a, what is it doing? Looks kind of bright. I want to introduce <laughs> you to my favorite enemy, the Light of Allah. Your location <laughs> is irrelevant, and so is theirs. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, it will find you, and it will give you Discord light theme. <laughs> oh my god, it's a sex offender summoning circle. Do not t tell Twitter. Do not Hang tell Twitter! Second. I think this is... Oh. Holy shit it is. This is the best game ever made. I fucking love Coinstar. <laughs> I'm going to teach you motherfuckers a Smith and Lesson. This is just like my favorite movie, Bible Shrek. Ramsey's let my people in. <laughs> no, 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 it can't be. The British are real. No! I want you to make a bridge, so just uh, Impossible! Do you long jump. If you do it wrong, you'll ascend to heaven. Wait, so what? Wait, do you I'm make being a told to rewind it with Shrek. Pippa. Ramsey's let my people in. Wait, what do you mean it was Pippa? What? No, 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 it can't be. The British are real. What do you mean? I don't see Pippa. You can't just Pippa jump scare me like that, chat! The game wants you to make a bridge, so just, uh, do a slam storage long jump. If you do it wrong, you'll ascend to heaven. Wait, so what happens oh, oh, oh. if I pick up two of them? Uh, oh. oh. I'm not sure if it works like that. God. Nobody helps me do the dishes in this fucking house. <laughs> so that means if I get another one, then... Yep. Jesus Christ, I, I can't hear anything. <laughs> so we finish playing Squidward mode, and instead move on to more enriching activities, okay. such as... Kitchen! Hurricane Cyber. <laughs> Sleep. This boss just has a rock, and apparently a rock schedule. This rust server fucking sucks. His main <laughs> attacks are jumping and beating you with a rock. You know, like a monkey. Me when I see an ableist online, I am a canist. So <laughs> this fight is weird, but don't worry, he doesn't have to stay there. You might oh. be able to run away temporarily. <laughs> so uh, jump height scales with distance. Oh, oh god, no. he's coming. My brother in Christ, this is the spawn. <laughs> Jesus, that's the actual noise it's making. Oh, oh god, there's fucked. a ghost in the elevator. Yeah, this what? seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> I think he's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty cool boss, I guess. I love playing five things at free drinks. <laughs> yes, please. Hey guys, Max are here, and oh. in this video, we're going to be trapped under the Denver airport. They oh, didn't no. turn on the lights. Never. So, this is the dark level. You can tell because of the gameplay. The this gameplay. seems a little familiar. Spooky? I'm fucking lost. These encounters are very spooky because you literally don't know what's in the room with you. I'm actually really surprised we haven't heard a Are You Afraid of the Dark theme yet because it's so spooky. It could be anything. It could be anyone. Hey guys, Mr. Beast here, and today I've hidden $40,000 <laughs> inside your skin. The first one to tear it off wins. My favorite moment is when we enter Ramsey's nuclear reactor. Oh. I love playing inside the seizure room. It's the best. Heading backwards into the... Adrenochrome harvesting. <laughs> we come upon something that chilled me to the bone. The crypt of dead YouTubers. We've got- I- I- I was joking. I was joking. I didn't actually think he would play it. Vine sauce. Markiplier. Hey, other Vine people. Sauce. And one day, my channel will join them. Six feet under. Oh. Uh, is knocking on my tomb. Do you know what time it is? Is that Mandalore? What? That's what? Right. This isn't a cameo. Mandalore is yet to answer my emails. The devs put a YouTuber in the game as a boss, and they gave him a total of two attacks. Full auto and fuller auto. Only real Mandalore heads will Only this Only fuller one. auto. But despite all of that, this is actually very fun. It feels as janky as it sounds, and I'm all for it. Plus, it's harder than, like, half the bosses in the game. Amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> oh god, they coded the game that way. This is just the best shit ever made. So, uh, welcome everyone to Tennessee. We've got oh, no. t-shirts, meds apparel, but general hunting, hunt camping, marine center, bass pro shops. That's my way of saying we're in a pyramid. It's just, uh, something feels a little bit off about this place. Oh, so, well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Hello, brother. No, fuck. Oh. I believe you have something of mine. Something very important. Can you please speak like a normal person? <laughs> How's about this for a trade? I beat you into a fucking pulp. Will you give me my arm back? <laughs> Oh my 
my God, he's literally me. We're so much alike. Welcome to the most psychotic shit in a video game. I've said it before and will say again. This fight is not made for humans. You no. Know, like my videos. We're supposed to be killing <laughs> each other with rocks. I quit using meth for good. Now I use it for evil. This fight is very similar to last time, except much worse. Now he moves as fast as me, if I was good at the game. But thankfully, I am not. This shit is like speedrunning Carpal Tunnel. What's the matter, brother? <laughs> I'm hurt because I can fix that! It is a challenge to look in V2's direction, let alone shoot him. Thankfully, for those of us who can't aim, there is a solution. Oh, you mother... But that's coin. right. If you aren't fast enough, he shoots your coins for you. <laughs> and what's worse, he can toss them too. Meaning, half the battle is a slap fight with Nichols. I can Amazing. play a shooter, not a fucking constellation. <laughs> this shit is like a cartoon battle in a dust cloud. And if that wasn't fast enough for you, don't worry. You can enrage V2 at any time by punching him with his own arm. <laughs> He loves it when you do that. <laughs> Ultimately, V2 can be easy or he could be hard. Easy in that he's limited by your moveset, but hard in that he's only limited by your moveset. <laughs> We've learned so much during our journey, and unfortunately, so is he. But we have grown in the one way that V2 never could. Emotionally. So how's about we teach him how to cope with failure the old-fashioned way? Cope. <laughs> You get back here right this fucking instant. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. Gotta... Oh no. <laughs> Your form is incredible. What? <laughs> is he okay? <laughs> you thought I would skip this, didn't you? No, I was merely waiting for nighttime. Oh. You know, like Skyrim. I'm a big fan of the horror gameplay. What? Come here, buddy. What? There he is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. What now is I'm that? Do all kinds of things, like gazing upon the false sun, climb the Eiffel Tower. This is the texture. And uh, trapping my dog in hell. It's a rock. His sins are yet to be forgiven. I think it's best <laughs> if we just leave him to it. Never mind. This is not good. Hey guys, welcome to my new and original game. I'm finding it. I'm, I'm finding it a bit of an adjustment. I mean, what do you want me to say? Wait, it's literally just hash brown coot. Was a handsome Squidward on the though. fucking? They even have my oh, favorite mind. character. Bad depth perception. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what this section's gonna be like. Oh god, it's the funny rock again. Oh Stop no. Stop posting about the rock. I'm tired of seeing it. <laughs> In the future, all humor will be randomly generated. So yeah, this. But it really is though. All future is randomly generated now. <laughs> Lom dog. Part is actually really good. I haven't played something like this since Uncharted 4. Oh. Hey guys, it's me, Nathan Drake, and um, Subway. I think it's best if we just kind of, you know, move on. The simulation is beginning to break down. Was that me, Kochi? Amazing. Hey guys, Max over here. Back at it again in the Chinese lead mines. The children love it. It's just like Minecraft. So you guys remember V2, right? I know, it's been a long time. Well, yeah. he really gave us a hand. Got him. Again, this is the grappling hook, and it's really good at bypassing the entire game. It's also quite simple. You either catch the fish, or the fish catches you. It can lead to some odd results. So we head through the halls of the Jiangxi Copper Company, at which point oh. I accidentally fell into the weaker disposal shaft. <laughs> So, uh, welcome to the water level. And by water, I mean fucking moon gravity. I really like how all the audio sounds like it's in the other room. In this mission, we need to locate the bodies by navigating a series of infamous cave disasters, all with gameplay indistinguishable from a flight simulator. You know, as far as water levels go, this is not horrible. It's just a little bit... Quiet. Fuck. I don't like having to hear my own thoughts. Zoomers want to take away their TikTok during Grandma's funeral. Also of note in this level is the new Chris Kyle enemy. But unfortunately, what? that makes you the Afghani child. Who the fuck is Chris Kyle? I have no idea. Take your time, fellas. JFK isn't going anywhere. <laughs> oh my fucking god. This is actually how they die. SCP, this one. This one? <laughs> Where to go? I think it's uh, time to leave. Don't touch any what? Don't so touch any! to the next level. <laughs> Florida in two years. The entire landscape is a highway to Disney World. So, much like the real Florida, this level design is on crack. The space is yeah. a little limited, just like the real Miami. It kind of feels like I'm fighting homeless men on stilts. We enter a completely normal cabin where there is an invincible enemy because he is an empath. We need to destroy his psychic link to progress. Trust me, guys, you don't want to face God on the astral plane. As no. an empath myself, I can sense when enemies die. Also integral to this level is up. Uh... Oh no. Resurrecting the Titanic. Jack was sent to hell for his immorality. Normally, of course, you would board the ship so that this guy can kill you for not having a ticket. But if you take a second to explore, you might just find the... the Hamter. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hamter? This 
this was just the beginning. Next, we're going to be flying backwards across the map. Man, this game's movement is wacko. Naturally, of course, the next step is a sheer cliff face. And with enough explosive ordnance, we can finally reach the... What? Fumo Demon. And it just so happens that we have the perfect sacrifice. No! Oh no. Thank you. Now I shall lay waste to this world. Uh, what have I done? The game. I think that was a good time to mention that uh, this game is official bump on the board. It vibrates and yes! to damage. Machine, the developers put out a patch on in your prostate now. <laughs> so we decide to board the all expenses paid cruise to Ohio, and that pisses off the guy with the. I, I can't escape! <laughs> We decide to board the all-expenses-paid cruise to Ohio, and that pisses off the guy with the comically large spoon. The same guy that you can pay to skip the boss fight. Badger? I'll give you three quarters to fuck off. As we can see, King Buck has presented a rather large spoon to his friend. This shit is My like if Garen wanted ice cream, but you told him that he could only have a spoonful. No, but seriously, this boss is very simple. When you can actually see him, it's pretty much just a matter of dodging his very patient attacks. It's a real shame he's a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, 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 oh. So after four seconds of very adverse weather, I finally decide to kill a man the only way I know how. The fucking spaghettification. Spaghettification! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that's how he dies. Who touch a must forget? Okay, bye. Team Rocket is blasting off again. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Costa Concordia. I swear to God, that isn't foreshadowing. <laughs> Our ship is making great headway straight down. Jesus I get Christ, the reference now. Uh, attention passengers, if you look to your right, you'll see the uh, fucking kaiju. There might yeah. be some turbulence. Oh my God, I can't believe it. They added a Scooby-Doo level to the game. The sweet life on deck really went downhill after season two. <laughs> I kind of did though. So this is the wacky level. You can tell because my screen looks like cloud vomit. Genuinely, uh, what is happening? This gameplay looks like how Coke smells. Well, thank God that's out of the way. <laughs> looks like it's gonna be a... Uh, yeah! I can see it! Smooth sailing from here. Smooth. I mean, just take a look at the skeleton. I bet nothing gets under his skin. What a nice helmsman this man is. Although Spooky. sometimes I wonder who's steering the ship. Oh my God, it is the cost of Concordia. Who's steering the ship? <laughs> Hey guys, Max are here, coming at you live from Bikini Bottom. We've been up, trapped inside the world's biggest washing machine. Mr. Mosby has had enough of my bullshit. He's turned my entire world upside down. But here's the thing, we are just playing this level in Mussolini mode, but also in reverse. It's complete with all your favorites from two minutes ago. Only this time, we have to stop Andrew Ryan from making another water park. Hey Jack, would you kindly test out this golf club for me? Um, that's not a good sign. So, uh, welcome back to the water level. On today's episode, <laughs> visiting Spongebob. This really is the rock bottom experience. You know, it's not the trip I asked for, but, um... Snake. It's about to get a lot more fucking eventful. After all this time, I've finally made it. Sea World, Ohio! No! <laughs> Welcome to the Bass Pro Shop's final <laughs> boss. Shamu hasn't been the same since he tried crack. Top 10 episodes of River Monsters. Number 3 will surprise you. Honey, would you still love me if I was a worm? I bet you're wondering right about now. How does the game balance such a massive fight? Well, it does not. There no. are two different ways to play this boss, and one of them is the wrong way. For instance, you could stay in the platform, dodge his attacks, shoot at him like the government shot Kennedy, and yeah, oh. probably kill him. Especially if it was a headshot. Or you can do whatever this shit is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. So uh, this works precisely how it looks. That is to say, like a really good time. Doesn't this gameplay look fun to you? From this moment onward, the ground is now optional. And no, there is no cooldown. The only limit is how hard you can ball. Now, Wait, if you're anything fuck like it, me, we you're ball. probably asking yourself, how do I ride this? But not only is this a possibility, it is an optimality. How else am I going to shoot the screaming child? Just uh, <laughs> don't spend too long or you'll be sent to space. Honestly, uh, the best boss of the whole game. When I can see him, bastard changed my zip code. <laughs> is this way to play balanced? No. Is it comprehensible? Absolutely not. I'm kind of just figuring things out as I go. But it is definitely very, very fun. And usually, that is all I need. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go fishing the fun way. <laughs> With capitalism. 
I don't think that was the fun way. Hey there, welcome back to, uh... Red. We've got Red. varied environments. We've got scary environments. We've got enough dick measuring. Now it's time for the durability test. At this point, the game is absolutely done with my shit. The enemy count could be described as generous, especially when their generous. attacks take up half the room. It's yeah. less a difficulty spike and more like a difficulty spear. It really doesn't difficulty tweak. Job. Sounds like an evil air conditioner. <laughs> oh. I forgot this game takes place in hell. This shit looks like I <laughs> color corrected it. Ultra Kill can have a little hell as a treat. So we make our way through the spaghetti sauce dimension, a twisted arena that will test every skill in your arsenal. But if you're anything like me, then uh, that isn't many of them. I think hell is having to explain my resume. Hello there. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> what are it. your weaknesses? Does your house have any weaknesses? My weaknesses are uh, cute girls in my DMs right now. Oh, machine. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. I know you're here. So do I. I can smell the insolent stench of your blood-stained hands. Okay, that's weird. Uh-oh. I await you down below. Come to me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh no, it's the YouTubers. And so far away from preschool. Oh my god, this is exactly what Akita wanted. Welcome to the, uh, so we enter, uh, this shit is the- Okay, so we're trapped in the Mr. Beast Goon Cave. Avoiding damage here is going to be a task. This fight is as horrifying as it was last time, and that's only made worse when you add the other previous bosses. I feel like I did something to make them mad. The fuckers stole my retinas, can't have shit in heresy. <laughs> Ultimately, this is a great way to show just how far we've come as a player. Yes, Both damage and <laughs> movement. And trust me, this requires a lot of movement. Isn't that right, Ghost Akita? I what? knew I could always count on you. I call this one the Six Foot Descent. <laughs> Aren't you fucking dramatic? The audacity of this man. Oh. Is this not enough, machine? How much more must your kind devour? You are talking to a camera. Do you think this is a camera? <laughs> Do you think it's like a joke? Because I'm not laughing. Cope and seethe. I fucking am. <laughs> it's not making me want to kill you less. Now, peek this sick organ so long. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Machine, I will cut you down. Break you apart. Splay the gore of your profane form across the stars. I will grind you down until the very sparks cry for mercy. My hands shall relish, ending you here and now. Amazing. That's the best you got. <laughs> I love it. More like the prostate of hate. Am it's I right? Beautiful. <laughs> Welcome to the most spastic shit ever made. A man oh. went to Bible camp for adults. Ecclesiastes twenty one forty six. Peter, the horse is here. No. The last encounter, Gabriel Not the horse. patience to beat. Now he requires an act of God. This fight is patience, but faster. That means faster movement, faster attacks, faster commutes to the hospital, and I can't afford health care. God <laughs> is of the having attack windows. We're skipping straight to God. This shit is more hits than I have dodges, and distance is not going to save you. We need to think about this boss really hard, because this fight Big is brain. not getting easier. Basically, no. Gabriel has two different modes, funny mode and racist mode. Racist <laughs> mode is the default, just like American police. We need to beat the biggest reactor by carefully convincing the blood to leave his body. The free speech wins again. So after sufficient logical debate is held between two intelligent parties, Gabriel decides that enough is enough and turns on the lights. Now I can see all my mistakes in perfect detail. This is the funny mode, because Gabriel finds it up. Pretty music. I, however, do not. Every attack, every toss, every bullshit sends my camera into a different hemisphere. And if you aren't ready for it, that's okay. Because he is definitely ready for you. In POV, you ask for the time in London. Needless to say, this fight is wacky, but also really easy. Not for lack of trying, though, but rather because of the many lessons that our journey has given us. And also the, uh, the horrifying places that we have been. I'm looking at you, stash trade route. Look, what I'm trying to say is V2 makes every game easier. <laughs> Fucking finally! <laughs> Is this my blood? I think I broke him. No, machine. I've never felt so alive. You're making this weird again. <laughs> He's making it weird! I need some time. Did we fight or have sex? Uh. <laughs> yes! 
I miss her, bros. <laughs> Gabriel, what you do now is treason. We represent the will of God. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a long time to think about that, Counselor. And now I realize everything that I had faith in is a lie. You let your faith be shaken by a camera. Face <laughs> it, God is dead. The fire is long gone. If you kill me, Gabriel, you'll be dead within hours. I know. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Didn't he get Gabriel to voice act? Like, the actual voice actor of Gabriel? This was... Fucking amazing. Yeah, no, I can see why there was disappointment for when my last one had audio sync issues. Absolutely based. God, that was nothing short of amazing. Max, were probably one of your best works yet. Holy shit. Keep it up, and I hope Watame one day collabs with you and, and fulfills the dreamu. Oh my god, you absolute legend.